a little bit slippery on the boat. Adam, I don't, <laughs> no, I don't want to lose my phone in the water. Oh, but it is, yeah, it is cold. It is cold. It is cold. Oh, it is cold and it is slippery. In the Emma Gorge walk today. It was about a two and a half hour walk, they say. So hopefully I'll get a swim there. See you in a couple of hours. Now just as I've walked up, I've seen the sign blow over. So I just put a couple of rocks on it to hold it down. Um, and I did speak to someone who saw two or three snakes on the trail. So I will be watching out. Hopefully they're scared or more scared of me than I am of them. I was intending to be on this walk um, uh, at least an hour ago, an hour and a half ago, before it gets too warm. Generally by 10 o'clock it'll be over 30 degrees, so I'm puffing already. At different times of the day, I guess it'll look a bit different here, it's, uh, with the sun on the rocks. So it's a ni nice little walk. Look at the gorge up here. Imagine it in the wet. The water coming over there. There's a nice little waterfall there. Swimming hole. And look at the size, the size of this gorge. Water trickling down. This is Emma Gorge. There's a lot of people coming and going here. That's uh, probably a good thing to get in early. Like I was going to be leaving at 7 o'clock in the morning, but uh, that didn't happen. The water in here is quite cool, but refreshing. Yeah, so what do I think of Emma Gorge? Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, nice walk in. A bit rocky in places. Didn't see any snakes, so that's a good thing. It is a reasonably strenuous sort of walk in, a uh, lot of rocks to climb over. Uh, I did go in with Mativas, which didn't give me a lot of support. But yeah, I managed to didn't slip on the rocks and stuff. And it was sort of, sort of handy when I got in there that I could walk in the water and have footwear on, um, save taking my other shoes in. I would probably recommend to go early if you can before it gets too hot. It wasn't too bad, there's a bit of a breeze, but just to beat the crowds, I guess, there were a lot of people in there, and um, yeah, it's quite quite a refreshing dip, but on the right-hand side, there is a hot spring as well, so I think it's about 34 degrees or something, but there's a bit of a queue to get in there, so it didn't end up climbing up because there's you know, just too many people there. I think it took me around an hour to get in there, taking photos and so on, and about you know, 40 minutes to walk out, I think. And, um, yeah, definitely worth a look. I would recommend to go in there. Just try and avoid the busy times. So I'm about to do Amelia Gorge. It says it's uh, two and a half hours and grade four. Yeah. This time I'll try my hiking boots on. So it's hard to know what to wear because if you're doing creek crossings and stuff, you don't want to be taking your boots on and off and, and, or getting them wet. Um, but we're oh, just about um, going over on my ankle there, so it's probably a good thing I've got my boots on. I reckon it should only take me an hour to get in there, so probably have a swim and then come back out again. Let's uh, have a look up there. Uh, pretty nice. All right, let's go. Stepping up and around the corner, and I've actually got a chain to hang on to. So, just about need two hands to get up here. Yeah, nice pool you come out to. I don't think that's the swimming one, but 
Let's see why you couldn't swim in there. Check out that fish. Check that out. There's that tiny little waterfall here. That just sounds like there's a waterfall over there, but I think it's just the echo of this one. I reckon if I yelled out echo, 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 you get a big echo, yeah. Here we are at the end of Amelia Gorge, and yes, it's worth the walk. I prefer this to Emma Gorge, because you'll have crowds of people. There's only one other couple here. Everyone else was smart and they came in early and I've already gone out before it got too hot. Big swimming hole, they said it's very, very slippery in there, so I'll just be careful taking the camera in. I've got my reef shoes on, got my hat on. Let's see how slippery this is. Oh, it's freezing. That's all right. Uh, I don't think I'll be swimming to the other side. I might be uh, wandering out there and put my phone back, I think, before I lose it in the water. Now, the people that were here at Amelia Falls when I got here told me how slippery it was on the bottom. And Put my reef shoes on and I thought, oh yeah, I'll go in with the camera, take some video, take some photos. Um, turned around, <laughs> I, I wish I'd had the video running still, would have been good. And I slipped and went under and my hat got a bit, um, a bit wet. I got a gob full of water, but I managed to keep my phone above the water. So saved the phone, swallowed a lung full of water. I've been coughing that up. Yeah, be careful when you're walking around here. You could go ass over. It is slippery. I'm gonna sort of dry off, have a bite to eat, a little snack, have a drink of water, and then slowly make my way back down the gorge. There's a few challenging spots there that are, I think, gonna be a bit harder going down than they were coming up. Well, what's my thoughts on Amelia Gorge? <laughs> um, there are some challenging spots that are maybe not for the faint-hearted. Um, nothing too dangerous. You've got to be a bit careful too, watch where you're walking. It would be very easy to roll an ankle or something in there, I reckon. So that was a little bit of a challenge, but um, doable. I'm glad I wore boots, I didn't get them wet. That just gave me a bit more ankle support. Anyway, I'm going back to camp to uh, put my feet up, maybe make myself a cup of tea and a biscuit, I think, just after that. I think I deserve it. We are camped at the Pentecost River on the Gibb River Road. And this chair has been sort of hanging around since I've been here and probably before that. I just wonder if it's, um, what its origins are. Did someone leave it behind by accident or on purpose because they didn't want it anymore? Did someone um, go swimming and not come back? Or they just left it behind because they didn't want it or forgot it? Anyway, help us out. Leave a comment below. Yeah, just a nice time of the evening. No mozzies around, thank God. There's the bush TV. I've come into Zebedee Springs. It opens at 7, 7.30. There's already a lot of cars here, so I'll just go and have a look and find a spot. So there's about a 600 meter walk in here. Uh, fairly flat, I believe, and boardwalk here and there. Got my towel, got my hat, got my cup of tea with me as well. I was intending to be here about 7, but 7.30 is not too bad. A bit of a lot relax here and then uh, do El Cristo Gorge walk. Grade 5 walk, so it'll be interesting. My keys 
fell off a rock into the water. Lucky they were only under the water for about 20 seconds, I guess, and that's uh, a bit of a relief. Anyway, you can see how dusty my sock is there. It might be time to clean it. Maybe time to put another one on before I hit the gib. Sign over there says, caution, deep water crossing ahead. So I've actually put it in low range. So I'll just take it slowly going through. See how it goes. Someone said it's um, maybe about 400 deep or something, so. Uh, easy, easy. So I've arrived at Elquestro Gorge. There's quite a lot of cars in the car park, so not a bad thing, I guess. Having myself a snack. Keys will go. Keys will go in the bag this time. Now, after talking to a few people, I've decided maybe to take my Tevas because I've got to go through a waist deep water. Boots are going to get full of water. It's going to be hard to walk in. I'm hoping I don't regret this. I'm going to do my straps up tight and try it with my Tevas and new ones with non-slip soles, hopefully. If you're doing the El Questro walk, uh, I'll just give you a bit of a run through. Obviously, just starting at the car park. It's not a bad walk through the uh, rainforest section and then it gets, as I say, a bit more difficult. You've got to kind of watch where you're putting your feet, but every so often it's good to stop and uh, just look around. This is um, getting up into the gorge now. Okay. There's not a lot of track markers along here, but I guess you just follow the gorge. And I'll tell you, so far, I'm happy I wore the Tevas because you can just uh, don't worry about getting your feet wet, just walk through the water. There's, um, there's a lovely walk up here. You'll see the, the turning point um, where you're pretty much turning right. There's only one way to go, really. There's another gorge going off to the side there, but it says do not enter. But once you get to the halfway pool, you've got to think about whether you're going to go up around the left-hand side of that pool and um, climb up. It is a challenge to get up there. You can either somehow swim across there and climb up the waterfall, and the other option is on the left side here. It looks a bit tricky, but um, somehow getting up that rock crevice. So that will be a challenge. But um, if you've got two people, one to take the bags, it's always a bit handy. I did make it to the top of this little climb. And it is a challenge getting up there. And here I am at the top and the bag got a bit wet. Um, there is some rocky, very big rocks up this section. Looks like the boulders are getting bigger up here. <laughs> a bit harder to get over. And uh, some little waterfalls, you've got to climb up um, quite a few metres up the ledges up the side of one of them. And I'm not sure yet how I'm getting up there. Sometimes you start climbing one way and it comes to a dead end and you've got to go back and try a different way. The, uh, climbing up that way. Basically, you're zigzagging to and from across the uh, across the creek there, so you're through water all the time. Oh, look at all these bees here! I don't want to put my hand on one of those. I'll walk right through them. Hopefully, oh, there's one. Yeah. Hello fella, yeah, having a drink. Once you get up to the uh, McMicking Gorge and the pool, you've got to the end. I've made it up to Alquestro Gorge and Waterfall and Swing Hole. That's pretty nice. That's a challenging walk for me. I'm actually here by myself at the moment in uh, 
from Cresco Gorge. I'm going to take my two full noodle in because I've got it all this way and try the water. For most of the time, a lot of the time I was up there pretty much by myself, so... If you're here, do it. I recommend it's one of the best walks I've been on. Also one of the most challenging. So I wouldn't want to do it in the heat of the day, but it is quite cool in the gorge itself. Well, El Quest Road Gorge, done and dusted. It is grade five and it is a challenge. So yeah, you can go to the half point, which is um, quite doable for most people, I'd say. And uh, yeah, if you're a bit more adventurous, go right to the end, it's worth it. It is a challenge, but you can say you've done it. And um, it's not the most spectacular water hole and waterfall when you get there, but it's more the journey than the actual destination on this one, I reckon. My ankles are feeling it a bit, but um, just think about your footwear. If you're taking hiking boots, you're going to get them full of water. There's a lot of water crossings. You can get it up to your chest um, at a halfway point to get up the crevice on the side. I've had my tevas and um, a lot of people were wearing reef shoes and things like that, but thongs aren't going to cut it. If you're here, I recommend to do the walk. Um, if you can, get up right to the end. I'm going to go into El Cuestro and have a look now and just uh, check the place out. And apparently there's a swimming hole over there as well. So just to cool off again <laughs> after the drive there. Stay tuned. Bumpy bumpy up the side. This is extremely steep. Okay, I'm going to change down to second gear, low range. This is the last uh, river crossing going into El Cuestro. That's a nice little one. Been through here before. Some reasonable depth. Go through nice and easy. And, uh, At El Cuestro, they've even got a art gallery restaurant, and obviously caravan park, camping ground. Accommodation, it's a steakhouse restaurant. Yeah, I just gotta go and find the water hole. starting to think it's time for a haircut. It's like 33, 34 degrees here every day. I'm getting hot and getting a bit wild and woolly and I've actually never cut my own hair. Joy's cut it for me once. Have you finished? Finished, cut finished cutting hair. my hair? Yeah, Is that good? perfect. Oh good. It's beautiful. So then I get to cut your hair. <laughs> so we'll see who does the, does the best job. No, then you should have cut my hair first because I can't leave your hair like that now. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't feel like paying $45, $50 in Kananara for a haircut, and um, I'm frugal. So anyway, I thought I'll try and cut it myself for the first time. So I've got these clippers, I just came out ones. They come with a 12, 9, 6 and 3 millimeter blade. I'm thinking I'll start off with the longest one, see how I go. And if I don't go well, I might ask someone to help clean it up. Anyway, let's see how I go. Now I know a lot of you guys probably cut your own hair and you've done it for years and uh, yeah, I've just never done it. So it'll be a challenge without my glasses. <whistles> Could be quite funny because I can't see, I can't see much at all without my glasses on. Yeah, it might not ever get posted. I don't know if it's a good idea. Wish me luck, starting with the longest comb, so. Oh, I don't know. 
really don't know about this, but um, see what happens. Oh, well, looks like something's coming off. Definitely feel here coming off there. So, Let's see. Can't see a thing. I guess it's too late to go back now, isn't it? What does it look like so far? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, okay, it could be worse. I think maybe having the mirror to start with might have been a, a good idea. Maybe I could have done half an hour with the glasses on. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'll maybe trim around my ears a bit. And how have I done? Have I got? Have I done a good as as good a job as Joy did? I guess she doesn't have to see me out in public. Yeah, it definitely feels better. That's for sure. Don't know how it looks, but it feels better. Oh, you better rate this actually against Joy's haircut. Um, Give me a, a number one being the lowest up to ten to be a good haircut <laughs> for a first go. How old am I? And I've done my first self haircut. Yeah, there you go. So here I am on the Pentecost River and I've met up with um, Tiny on tour. Hi, I'm Alfred. I'm Donna Marie. <laughs> Donna Marie, I've just found out, is a hairdresser, but don't tell anyone, okay? It's a secret, because <laughs> she doesn't like cutting hair. It's because she's retired. <laughs> anyway, Alfred in the back there, he dropped... money, honey, soon. Oh, okay, yep. I got my wallet with me. <laughs> anyway, as you saw before, I've cut my own hair, and um, there are improvements that can be made, because especially around the back is not quite right, so... Anyway, she's going to give me a bit of a trim. I think and you've done a very good job, actually, Gilbert. Oh, th thank you very much. Yeah, I really do. It's a yeah. very good job. Oh, for the first time? <laughs> Not too bad. What better place could you get your hair cut? Look at the view. I mean, oh, how, how, how good is that? Huh? Getting your hair trimmed by a professional hairdresser <laughs> on the road. <laughs> and it's a fellow crusader with a hurricane. Oh, Look at that. I mean, <laughs> how good could it get? <laughs> Yeah, I should take my glasses off, I guess. Look at this. I'll definitely take your glasses off. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't expect this, did you? No, I didn't expect this. <laughs> Check out the view. If only you'd known this morning. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's for sure. I have never used Kmart clippers before, admittedly. Oh, yeah, okay. But they actually know, they seem okay. Oh, no, that's okay. I look as if it's coming quite well. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, they are basically, I've only used them for the first time today, so they should be nice and sharp. Yeah. So now I need to ask uh, which way you're travelling. So yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> in about two months I'll need another haircut, I reckon. Unfortunately, <laughs> I think uh, you haven't um, started the gib. No, I haven't have done. The, I haven't really started the gib. Yeah, so I've you're, been, yeah. you're only just on your way. Yeah. There we go. And you'll be going the opposite, opposite direction. Yep. So. Yep. We're going in the opposite direction. You've got Gil down here. He's popped in for a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell everyone that. <laughs> yeah. And you've got to admit, this is a great sight to do it. Mm -hmm. oh, I wasn't expecting this, that's for, for sure. I was, um, the full gown and everything. Yeah, I know. I did actually ask someone the other week that came and camped next to me. I said, you're not a hairdresser by any chance, are you? <laughs> a little did you know. A little did I know. <laughs> could take to this um, leopard skin. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's a... I know, it's pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty fancy gown, hey? It is. It is. Mm -hmm. well, that feels good. It's mm. definitely a lot cooler, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, If I Thank had a mirror, I'd show you. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I've got one. I've got one back in the caravan. I should have bought it with me. Well, thank you so much, Donna Marie, for the, no the and no professional haircut. And no crocodiles got me. <laughs> no. Oh, Alfred was on the lookout for a while, but then he's disappeared. I hope he, no, he's not. He's on his phone. Look at him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, how's that? That was oh, so funny. That's so good. Oh, it feels so good. Anyway, thank you so much, Donna Marie. No coming back complaining. I oh, know. I'm going that way. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Thanks again. Okay, with thanks to a tidy up from Donna Marie, this is my haircut. I mean, got to be pretty happy with that. Yeah. She reckons I did a fairly good job, but um, yeah, definitely 100% on what it was when I finished with it. So, how lucky am I? Pretty cool.